Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for day six of the Holy Heroes devotional. Today's devotion is inspired by Plastic Man. DC Comics' silliest superhero, Plastic Man, puts the comic in comic books. Plastic Man's unique elasticity allows him to twist and contort his body into any shape imaginable. A parachute, a hang glider, a lava lamp, even Big Barda's dress. Although his preposterous personality and unparalleled pliability lead to lots of laughs, Plastic Man's origin story strikes a much more serious chord. We learn Plastic Man's tragic tale in an episode of Batman the Brave and the Bold. Plastic Man recalls, I was a low-life crook named Eel O'Brien, working in Kite Man's gang. But even I didn't deserve what happened that night. O'Brien and his fellow thieves assist Kite Man with a heist at a chemical plant. But after the criminals break into the safe and steal the loot, Batman makes a dramatic entrance. Jigs up, Kite Man, Batman says as he leaps from the shadows. While Batman battles Kite Man, slippery E.L. O'Brien grabs the cash and tries to make his escape. With the flick of a wrist, Batman launches a batarang at O'Brien and knocks him into a vat of chemicals. That story sounds a little familiar. <laughs> Batman, of course, rescues O'Brien from the vat of chemicals, but not before the chemicals have a mutagenic effect on him. Those chemicals turn me into the freak I am today, Plastic Man recalls. Surprisingly sympathetic, Batman watches over O'Brien as he recovers in the hospital and then sets him on the straight and narrow path. There are no happy endings to a life of crime, Batman cautions. O'Brien testifies against Kite Man in court in exchange for a lesser sentence, and then Batman vouches for O'Brien at his parole hearing, saying, I give you my word, I'll take full responsibility for O'Brien's rehabilitation. From that point forward, Batman mentors O'Brien, teaching him to use his newfound abilities to fight crime as the infinitely elastic plastic man. I think many of us can sympathize with Plastic Man's experience. You know, like E.L. O'Brien, we're all lawbreakers. Don't believe me? Compare your life to these three simple laws from the Ten Commandments. Number one, you shall not steal. Have you ever taken anything that didn't belong to you? A peanut, a paperclip? That makes you a thief. Number two, you must not lie. Anyone that says they never have just did. And number three, you must not commit adultery. Now, before you excuse yourself from this one, remember that Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5, you have heard the commandment that says you must not commit adultery. But I say anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. That's 100% of the guys watching this video right now, I guarantee it. If you're like me, you didn't score so well. We're all lying, thieving, adulterers at heart. And that's just three out of ten. We could keep going, but I don't think we would fare any better. Every time we sin, we break God's law. In fact, the Bible says in James chapter 2, verse 9, You sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. God knows that we're just low-life crooks at heart. And when we're honest with ourselves, so do we. Despite our guilt, however, Jesus does for us what Batman did for Plastic Man, and so much more. Jesus not only vouches for us and offers us a second chance, he actually takes the punishment for our crimes. The Bible says in Colossians 2, verse 13 through 14, He forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. Jesus took the list of 
crimes that we've committed with him to the cross so that we could be pardoned and set free. And just as Batman mentors Plastic Man, encouraging him to use his his newfound abilities uh, to fight crime and to do good, Jesus calls us to use our talents and abilities to do good and serve others. Occasionally, Plastic Man still wrestles with the allure of ill-gotten gain, just as you and I will continue to wrestle with the allure of sin. But thanks to Jesus, we can overcome those temptations and live holy, heroic lives to the glory of God. Let's pray together. Jesus, I confess that I am a criminal. I've broken God's law more than I can count. Thank you for nailing the charges against me to the cross. Thank you for forgiving me and giving me not only a new lease on life, but a whole new life in Christ. Help me to utilize my skills in your service. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you once again for joining me for today's devotion. And if you'd like to continue to join me in the future, hit the subscribe button uh, and the notification bell so that you won't miss a single one. In the meantime, God bless and be heroic. <laughs>